Good morning, everyone. My name is Jenny. My name is Jenny. These are my students. We are from Fulan Catholic High School, Jiayi, Taiwan. Today, we are going to introduce Taiwan Treasure Box. We will tell the story of eight Taiwanese cultural treasures. Taiwan's traditions and culture are a blend of Aboriginal, Taiwanese folk, Japanese colonial, Chinese classical, and Western-influenced modern cultures. They are not only significant in our history, but still prevalent in today's modern society. We hope you will enjoy our story of Ilya Formosa, Taiwan. Now Vicky and Ricky are going to introduce treasure number one. Treasure number one, Aboriginal culture. Aboriginal people have inhabited Taiwan for thousands of years. Taiwanese Aboriginals are famous for their powerful vocals and vibrant dances. Music, singing, and dancing are integral part of Aboriginal lifestyle. They are both Taiwan's Aboriginal pop stars. The most well-known singer is Ahmed, who is entitled as the pride of Taiwan. Aboriginal culture is the number one cultural treasure of Taiwan. Romney and Jordan were introduced to treasure number two. Treasure number two, travel culture, games and toys. The toys are made from natural materials or discarded and recycled rubbish. These games and toys have a long history in our country. Part of Taiwanese children's childhood culture includes playing four major games and toys that are a lot of fun. First, Diabolo. Second, Top Spinning. Third, shuffle cup kicking. And fourth, rolling a steel ring. And the throwing them back. Ivy and Shen are going to introduce children number three. Children number three, Tenhaki culture. Tenhaki are one of the symbols of Taiwanese culture. A typical hand puppy performance integrates local Taiwanese language, traditional music, colorful clothing, and hand puppy art. If you want to learn how to play with these Taiwanese hand puppies, please come to see us. We may perform a simple Taiwanese hand puppy with generous and will be fun and fun. Thank you. Jimmy and Jenny are going to introduce Schedule number 4. Schedule number 4, hand puppy culture. Temples in Taiwan are the spiritual and social center of the country. Traditional Taiwanese religions include Buddhism, Taoism, and Folk belief. The most popular goddess in Taiwan is Guan Yin. The goddess Madhu is the symbol of mercy, benevolence, and peace. These are the eight generals. This is the famous fire crossing ritual, dropping the gospel timing from history. We would also like to show you how to pray to Tiny Star, how to ask them questions, and how the gods will give you their advice and blessing. Worshipping gods. When people visit temples, they must first pay their respects to the gods by burning incense sticks. Consulting gods for advice, throwing divination blocks. Find two crescent-shaped wooden blocks with one curved side and the other flat. Hold both blocks in close the hands. State your name, date of birth, age, and home address. Ask if God identifies you and grants permission to ask for advice. The question must be as simple and brief as possible. Then toss the blocks onto the ground. When one block lands curved side up and the other left side up, the answer is positive. If both blocks land curved side up, the answer is negative. When both blocks land left side up, the question is not clearly stated or more information is needed. 
If you wish to get an answer in a written message, pick one bamboo stick with a number. Match the number with the piece of paper. The message on the paper is the advice given from a Taiwanese god. The messages are poetic, which can be rather vague in meaning. It's common to ask the temple specialists to interpret the message. Now, Coco Chiu and Coco Liang will introduce treasure number five. Treasure number five, handicraft culture. Taiwanese handicraft art is an expression of the spirit and expansion of memory and expansion of tradition. In over 50 years, the handicraft industry has earned the majority of Taiwan foreign exchange and tremendously benefited the island's economic development. All your paper umbrella. Creative lantern arts. Wood carving. Glass glass arts. Bamboo weaving. Can you and Roshani are going to introduce treasure number six? Treasure number six, tea culture. Come and have a cup of tea is the most common say in Taiwan. Brewing a part of fresh tea is an essential part of Taiwanese hospitality to their guests. The best way to say welcome is to serve a cup of half fine tea. Paga Lei Cha means pounded tea. It consists of a mix of tea leaves. They are bound together with various nuts, seeds, and grains. Pearl bubble tea. The combination of cherry tapioca bowls and milk tea. It is the most popular drink found on every corner in Taiwan. Now the bubble tea shops are all over the world, including Asia, Europe, and America. Eric and Monica will introduce treasure number seven. Treasure number seven, night market culture. Night markets are a truly exceptional experience and have become one of the main attractions for foreigners when visiting Taiwan. They offer a wide variety of authentic Taiwanese food and drinks, as well as unique Taiwanese products. These are the top snack foods. Tofu culture, with influences from China and Japan, the Taiwanese enjoy all kinds of tofu foods. Stinky tofu, the pot is called Stinky Stinky Pot. Chicken feet. Duck head and tongue. Hot pot. It is a popular East Asian variety of stew. While the pot keeps simmering, ingredients are placed into the pot and cooked at the table. Typical hot pot dishes include thinly sliced meat, leafy vegetables, fish bowls, seafood, and tofu. The cooked food is usually eaten with a mix of new sauce. Shaved ice. If you would like to know more about popular Chinese night market snack foods, we can play a bingo game. Ting will introduce treasure number eight. Treasure number eight, education. <laughs> Above everything, attending cram school, supplemental class after school. It's a traditional belief in Taiwanese society that parents felt the obligation of sending their children to cram school so that they can get into the best universities. Most of Taiwanese children have a schedule packed with different cram school after regular school hours. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is ask these questions. If you know the answer, raise your hand as quietly as possible, you know, no hooting and hollering kind of thing. And then we will choose the one, and then the, the child that had the right answer, you'd be the one to choose one of your teachers to come join us over here at the round table. So that's, there'll be five children and five teachers when we finish. Go ahead. Okay, question number one. one. What is the name of the food? Oh, all right, this uh, young man there. Three. Yes, stinky tofu. All right, thank you. You may choose one of your teachers. And go to the 
your round table, you all have your special treat. Question number two. What is the name of this very tall building? One, two, three. Okay, this young lady. Four. What is this? Would you say it out? Okay, yeah, Taipei 101. Question number three. What is an excellent place for assembling Taiwanese cuisine and experiencing the local culture and uh, the nightlife? Oh, okay, uh, the young man over there in the blue, in blue. Yeah, man. 